Demetrius Bubu Andre, 2008 Olympic hopeful. Demetrius, it's a pleasure to have you. Tell us about your um, latest amateur tournament. You're coming off a silver medal in the Pan Am Games in Brazil. Most people say you were robbed of the gold medal. What do you have to say about this? Yeah, you know, um, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for all the support I got back at home. And um, the experience was good, you know. I learned a little bit. I learned different techniques. I learned what punches count, you know, and uh, what punches to use and look for weaknesses. But, you know, the finals, uh, was in, it was in ba uh, ba uh, Brazil. The finals, I fought a Brazil guy. And basically, he was the only one left. And I guess they needed a goal in their hometown, so he had to go. But the fight, I believe, I, I came out the first round beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I used my jab, you know, I was reach, I didn't reach in a little bit, I did a little bit of reaching with my left, but everything else was cool. I, I counter punched him, I moved, he, I was kept disciplined. I went back to the corner, the score was like 1-3 or something, so I go, wow. So the second round I go out there, you know, I start putting a little pressure on him, and I go back to the corner, the score was like 2-5. So after that, I got a little frustrated, but I kept my I kept my thing together, and so therefore I ran out and I tried to just walk him down, keep my hands up, and go for the blows. And I caught up. The score was um, five six, and all of a sudden, in the last 20 seconds, he scored two points, and he held me he held me for like five seconds of the fight. And so, but it was all right though. You know, I learned a lot. I learned. I'm gonna see him again. I learned things that's gonna help me in the near future. And therefore, I'm just getting ready for Beijing. And to be robbed of a gold medal in a big amateur tournament like that. Does it, you know, does it make you sometimes wonder about continuing on, on in this game? You know, you strive so hard, you work so hard for what you deserve, and then you don't get what you deserve. How does that feel? What does that do to you emotionally? Well, I don't, I don't look at it no negative ways. You know, there's things happen for a reason, so I take it as, hmm, I got robbed now, hopefully in Beijing. Everything's fair, so right now I, I lost. Uh, that's just it. I lost, but I'm taking everything as aggression. I'm, I'm coming hard. I'm focused. The next person got to pay. That's just how it is. I get hungrier and hungrier. If I lose, then the beast, the beast comes out a little more. Is this experience going to make you work twice as hard to be that much more dominant in the Olympics? Yeah, I've been working hard. I've been getting up every morning. Thanks to my man Rob. You know, we get up in the morning. We run the um, Brown Stadium in Providence, Rhode Island. And, um, and after that, 5 o'clock, until like 8, I'm in the gym with my um, coaches, David Keith and Paul Andre. You know, just working on things, getting ready, getting ready for whatever comes our way. And give us a little, um, little overview of training for an amateur fight, world-class level, international level. How many rounds do you spar leading up to these fights, and how many miles do you run per day or per week? Well, um, it's like it's like this. Um, I get up in the morning, I run the stairs, then I put a, I put a vest on, and then um, I, I put my man Rob. He's a big dude. I, I, we do the pose. We do a little everything, you know. Um, sparring, I try to spar with um, with people that I, I, I just line them up basically. I, I try to get as many rounds as I can from certain people, different styles. Just line them up, and that's how we get our that's how we get our technique and our skills from. I just seeing different things. And uh, tell everybody all of the amateur titles you've won over the years because you're gonna you're our Olympic hopeful. So give us a little bit of your amateur background. Go give us an overview. Well from the from the juniors I won um silver mittens twice. You know I won the internationals um silver gloves and um when I turned senior that's when that's just when I just started popping off, you know, all my highlights and all. I won um USA Nationals twice and I won the Golden Gloves twice. And for the last past three years, so everything's good right now. I'm just going to get on that Olympic team August 20th to the 27th of the trials, and so they got to pay. Demetrius Bubu Andre, 2008 Olympic hopeful. Demetrius, what keeps you motivated? Oh, man, just just knowing, just knowing there's a big award ahead of me, so I just got to keep moving and get it. I'm keep going, I'm going, I'm going to go. You know? And once you win that gold, yeah, that's a that's a pretty important thing. Where are you gonna keep it? In a safe box? In a bank vault? Where? I'm gonna keep that around my neck. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that around my neck, man, for a couple of months, and I will put it away somewhere in the treasure room, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so proud of wear that thing. So I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear it every day. I take showers and I think if I had to. <laughs>